Since the 1960s, the port city of Montreal has been one of the largest points of import for coke and heroin in the world. The mafia controlled most of it, but you still had to deal with the bikers and other gangs who all wanted their cut. All that came to an end under mob boss Vito Rizzuto. Because I own City Hall and the cops. We're here to place you under arrest. Coming out of small sides. Show them you're in charge. Taking care of my son. You're not the head of this family. He knows everything you Oh, looks so good. He plays Mafia boss Vito Rizzuto's right-hand man in the new original event series called Bad Blood. Kim Coates joins us this morning to talk about being a part of the dark drama inspired by the real-life Canadian mobster. Welcome, Kim. Thank you so much for coming Kim's in. Yay. Hey, you notice right away. You're like new set. Welcome to it. And you, welcome yeah, to it. Yeah, my brand. First my time first time, time on it. Rookies. Together. You and me. Together. <laughs> Together. Veteran in the middle. <laughs> How are we doing? How are we doing? Are we, are a we little doing rose, a like, couple of thorns. <laughs> you know how this works. Listen, very comfy on this couch. Uh, much talk about this series. I'm going to say this right away. Sure. John Doyle, very well known for having an acid tongue, loved this series. Oof. Glowing review. Did you read it? Yes, I did. And I was Globe waiting. Globe and Mail, baby. I was waiting. John Doyle loved me. Loved you. Loved the show. <laughs> loved, lo loved oh, me. <laughs> loved the show. Who's saying? But no, he did. And thank you, yeah. John. My next child is going right to you. Is that something? Very because sweet. listen, there is so much buzz about this. The fact that it is, it is a uh, uh, a fiction based on fact story. So can it's I, can not. Can I help you out with that? Can you please? Inspired, Inspired. by two events, right, Mark Montefiore, my little producer over there. That He's sexy catching. devil. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it's inspired by true events, but it's a fictionalized, uh, Michael Conovus, who wrote the six-parter, uh, they, they came to me first, then we got Anthony Lopali and Paul Savino, Enrico Calantoni, Tony Napo, Max Raw, I mean, really, just some great, 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 talented so people, so. And a Canadian story shot in Canada, mm -hmm. which is great. What a, what a concept, right? Yeah. I mean, it's about Montreal, we shot it in Montreal and Sudbury. That never a happens. Little Sudbury, Hollywood North now, yeah. Yeah, it's always something masquerading as another city. Yeah. So how great to actually immerse yourself, you know, where all of these events loosely took place. Because yes. again, you're saying it's inspired, inspired. by. Mm -hmm. So it does go deep, as many of these, this genre, you know, of crime drama does. It's not just about the violence and you know the revenge wars. It's also a lot of heart and. It leaves us basically, you know, to, to side good, evil, both gray. There's a lot of gray. Right? These that's are these are these are characters that are it's not black. They're complicated. Yeah. That's absolutely true. And Paul Savino said it so beautifully the other night. We had a premiere two nights ago. And Paul Savino said that these these stories are so uh, watched if they're good and well written and about family. And yeah. this one oh there we go. There you guys and, and it was. This is this is a, an incredible family drama. Mm -hmm. And we're letting the audience make their own conclusions once they watch all six as to how they feel one way or the other, but we're so proud of this, it's, it's an epic thing. When you're part of a production like this, there's the added pressure of that it, it is inspired by true events, and the only thing you can really control as an actor is your part in it, mm -hmm. right? How well you do, and then you have to rely on everybody else, and that includes people who shoot it, people who edit it. You saw it a couple nights ago, what do you think? Yeah, I've seen it quite, quite a bit. I co-produced it with Mark and his incredible team, so I was involved. A, a lot early. I'm, I'm, uh, I mean this, I know it's, I'm biased because I'm in it and star in it, but it's some of the, the best stuff I've ever seen. This is riveting, riveting television. It is so raw and real. The acting's off the hook. Alain Desjardins, who, who directed it, off the hook, French-Canadian. Michelle Sinclair, who shot it. All the art deco. You, you've seen me on, on subways and buses and the bus shelters. The artwork yeah. that, that Rogers did with this and City TV. It's just phenomenal and we should be, as Canadians, which is what you're talking about, Adam, so proud mm. when stuff like this comes along and you actually do it and you hit it out of the park and, and now all Canadians get to see it starting tonight. I'm, I could not be more proud. We should Own trump it. our own success. We yeah. never do that. We never do that. We Too much to humble pie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Congratulations. I set my PVR. You know I go to bed at 6.30. So this <laughs> is a must watch. If there is going to be any complaints, it'll be that why only the six series and we want more. I'm telling you right now, that is, that that Did will be the only complaint. <laughs> they are going to want more. Make sure you check it out. Bad Blood premieres tonight at 8 only on City. For more information, go to breakfasttelevision.ca. We love seeing you. Thank you love so much, you. Kim. Good love to see you. Love you too, Adam. Thanks.